how is it going everybody this is RVT coming at you with week 7 of my NCAA 14 Dynasty Series with the Florida Gators and this week we're going to be taking on our toughest opponent of the season LSU Tigers playing in Death Valley 5-1 LSU ranked number 12 in the country and uh, it's going to be tough oh yeah I need to show you the top 25 poll and everything beforehand uh, this is going to be a tough game this is one of those games I believe that we possibly could lose but I mean if we win games like this we could possibly go in and win the SEC but I mean that's that's looking way ahead but who knows, guys? And uh, I'm actually going to be out of town for four days. I'm just showing you everything real quick while I'm talking. I'm going to be out of town for four days. And I'm hoping to have a video to be uploaded every day. If you haven't checked out my 2,000 subscriber uh, giveaway video, go check that out. Pretty cool prize. And it's really easy to enter. And go watch that. Leave a like on this video. Uh, I have, I'll have a couple videos for sure coming out. I'm staying really, really late. Comes to be going out of town, like I said. I got a pack and everything still. I'm going to be making all these videos. I just had a quick workout. It's already 11.20 at night and have a ton to do. I have like three or four other videos to make. So it's going to be a long night. So let's get this Let's get this party started. This is the first video I'm making. And here we go. Week 7 of my Florida Gators Dynasty versus the LSU Tigers. And, uh, I mean, we might be a slight underdog in this game. LSU, as you see, is a better team overall. But you know what? We're fourth in the country. We're trying to stay undefeated. Try to try to uh, sneak our way up to the top of the polls and we'll see what we can do and I have to tell you guys I might not be as enthusiastic in this video because like I said it's really late I've had a long day I've been up really early only got a couple hours of sleep last night I actually went parasailing today went across the bay and went parasailing was at the beach all day so I'm kind of burnt my nose actually resembles Rudolph because I had on sunglasses the whole entire time so that's a nice little fact as we're getting into the game, team stats as you see, uh, I'm fifth in the country with 480 yards per game as the offensive coordinator, 16th in the country, 36 points per game, 18th in pass and ninth in rushing. So that's looking pretty nice. LSU is actually seventh in the country in points per game. That's actually kind of surprising to me. As you see, their defense is is actually worse than ours statistical wise, except in the pass game. We actually have the second best rush defense in the country thanks to the Hey, Coach Will Mustamp and his defense. Let's press start A to continue. And here we go. Oh, yeah, I wanted to say real quick, as the game is loading up here, I had a couple comments sent to tell me that they wanted me to show recruiting. And I will show recruiting the next bye week that we have. I'll show the, the prospects that I have on the board thus far that week. So, as it's shown in the SEC West standing, the LSU's in second. I'm not sure who LSU lost to. Um, we are in second right now only because we are ranked behind South Carolina in the AP poll. It looks like Georgia lost last week. I'm guessing that was to South Carolina. And uh, it's a tough race in the East. It's a really tough race. We'll be playing South Carolina for the week, so we control our own destiny. That's a, that's a definite. So, rivalry game. It's time. It's a tough task, but I believe we can do it if we, if we uh, minimize our mistakes, don't turn the ball over, and keep control of the ball on the ground. We should be able to win this. I did not even understand. Big game skill activated. Do not know what that means. But I don't know if we got the ball first, and we did. So let's start off. I'll make sure. I forgot to do this last couple of games. Keep the big run and conservative. Oh, no. I don't want to ask Coach first play of the game. Let's, let's not start with Driscoll. Let's go. I mean, not start with Burton. Uh, you know what? They're going to think we're going to run the ball first. Let's hit them with the halfback screen. I'm going to expect them to be blitzing here. So let's see what's going to happen here. Playing off a little bit, so they might not be blitzing. Oh, they do blitz! Yes! Oh, man. Bad. The perfect play call and bad, bad blocking by my wide receivers. Bad, bad blocking. That was perfect play call. Absolutely perfect. So, no reason. Let's do uh, this. I like this uh, play call from last week. This, I mean, this formation. Let's go halfback off tackle. LSU's in their purple home uniforms. I actually kind of like those uniforms. Keep the ball on the ground, Matt Jones. Here we go. Nice, nice play. Now we can keep the tempo going. I saw somebody comment on my video last time saying run the ball more with Matt Jones, and that's something I've been wanting to do. But uh, I really, honestly, do not know why I have not been doing. It. I think I've been trying to focus a little bit more on giving Trey Burton the ball, but Matt Jones is a playmaker. And here we get the ball, Trey Burton. He cannot find the hole, but he bounces forward for a nice five yards, so we'll keep the ball moving. Fast-paced. Uh, 
Let's hit him with a quick pass. We can find one in this formation. We're going to look for this wide corner. He has press on the outside, so if he can get off, uh, if he can bump off the uh, press coverage, look for DeBose. If Robinson gets the outside leverage, we can hit him on the out route. And he does. And there we go. Nice play, and he is level, absolutely level. And let's let's keep it hurried up here. Get the ball on the ground. Let's go with a. Uh, no, let's actually throw the ball here. The slant middle route. Been looking for Robinson. They look like they're playing the zone. They have to press over to the right side. And Dunbar got off of it. We're looking for A and pressure. They did not even see that pressure. I was too busy looking at the receivers. So it's okay. Second and 10. Keep the ball on the ground here. Um, let's not come out in that formation again. They might. But let's. let's, let's what's the difference in the, between this formation? Uh. Back here, they're behind the quarterback. Same thing, except they're behind the quarterback there. Okay, let's go with the read option. First read option of the game. And then if we get, if we get more than four yards, we'll keep it going in this formation. Actually, doing the read option with Burt in this play. And he can't contain in, but wow. Outside linebacker Blitz got us there. Uh, good play call by their defensive coordinator. So, uh, we're kind of back up here on third and 14. I have to go with it. Let's go with this. Let's find an empty, empty spread. Uh, let's look at this middle slant route here. It's really easy to, to uh, organize all your plays when most of them are out of shotgun. I don't know if, if Robinson get that slant all the way to the first down mark where we can see. He's open. Yes, he's going to get that first down. He's going to get the first. Yes. Great play. Great play. Oh, he, he's, he's up. He's going. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, let's keep this going, guys. Um, nice little play there. Uh, let's let's change formation. So let's see if we can find the. Uh, let's hit him with. Try hitting him with another halfback screen here. I'm sorry, I have to sneeze here. Uh, I, I'm so tired, guys. Oh, he fine over the middle. Oh, Dunbar with the sick one-handed catch. That's what I'm talking about. Keep this ball moving. Keep the ball moving. Uh, we might actually get, be able to score against LSU's great defense. Let's look for. Uh, wings trip. Let's go with the speed option here. I do not. I'm not pitching it. Not pitching it unless I have to. Wow, well, they defended that play perfectly. Couldn't cut to the inside. That, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Let's see the replay. Yeah, I don't think I, I could have cut to the inside, and he had to pitch man. So another greatly de defended option by the LSU defense. We're moving the ball good, so we don't want to bring in Driscoll right now. Let's go with this formation. Let's go hit him with a play action here. Even though they probably not be expecting play action because it's, it's a second and long, but it's not a shotgun, so we have more time than we're under center. Uh, hey, over the middle. Touchdown, Solomon Patton, the senior wide receiver out of Murphy High School. Touchdown, so I couldn't ask for a better drive to start the game against LSU. Great, great play. Two wide receivers could have caught that ball right there. So see if our defense can uh, get the stop, and they do. So let's let's uh, let's not do anything. Let's not change anything up. Let's let's keep Driscoll. Um, let's go with that two back formation if we can find it right here. Pretty nice little formation there, actually. Uh, two, three great playmakers on the field. Three of our best players on the field at the same exact time. That can three of our biggest running threats on the field at the same time. So that's that's deadly as can be. Hit him with Burton up the middle. Two yard rush, and you know what? We hit him with Burton then. So let's go with uh, let's hit him with Matt Jones if we can find a nice little um. No, let's hit him with that play action. Looking for Robinson up the middle. As you can tell, I love throwing the slant routes. I'm more comfortable throwing them, and I do not, do not like throwing picks and don't make mistakes. They blitz. Great play call. Absolute great play. Great call. Wow, can't talk. Great play call. And um, if the Robinson was a little bit faster, we might have actually been able to get a touchdown there because the wide receiver had a really nice block. Let's uh, mix it up here. Not run the ball in first down. Let's hit him with a little mesh route to Bose. Let's audible this play to the other side because the Bose did not have enough room over there to make that corner out. So. Maybe let's make our first read to Dunbar, then look over the middle, see if we find a touchdown. No, that's a bad play. It's a bla bad play. Bad. I, I was too inclined to throw that ball. I knew he was not open. I, I knew as the time I threw it. 
don't know why I threw it anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Did not mean to do that. Uh, let, let's go with this bunch squad formation. I haven't ran many plays out of this. Um, hit him with this tight end angle. I mean, I'm telling you, I love doing the slant routes. So they're cheesy slant routes, but they work. Think and dunk. It's, it's a blitz. What is the bow? Hit Thompson in the middle. That's going to be Sparks to tackle. There we go. First down, maybe let's move the ball, move the chains, keep this out of this five receiver set, sling the ball around a little bit. I mean, we're exposing that secondary, so why not keep on keeping on? I'll go with this drag under route, staying the same uh, personnel grouping on the same side of the field. Look for Dunbar if he can break that press coverage over there. And he can! That's me, touchdown! Touch! Ah! That was a bad throw by Driscoll. We threw a little bit behind him. I hope it can show a replay here. Not was from what I could tell, he threw it a little bit behind him. It didn't hit him on stride. So he did have to. It, yep, it was behind him. It was oh, I didn't hurt the ball. Off. Wow. Okay, whatever. We're gonna go in that that uh, two back set. Hit the ball off. The draw to Matt Jones. My eyes are burning up a storm, guys. I apologize. Throwing the ball very well this game. Florida is up a score. See two back set. See if we can hit up the middle of Matt Jones for a touchdown. And is he gonna make it? Yes, he does. Matt Jones the second effort. It's a ten yard touchdown run. And number four, Florida takes a fourteen to nothing fourteen to nothing lead, pinning the extra point. And we get it. You know, defense comes up with a big side stop again. So let's see if we can have a play um, under center. Um Let's hit him with a, a play action pass out of the pistol. If we have, yep, play action deep. Wow, we must have got a turnover. Okay, let's hit him with that play action. We're looking for Robinson over the middle or uh, either DeBose or Pittman. Pittman, uh, with, for why? Robinson over the middle. Great play, great play. Hurry up offense. We will stay in the pistol so we can get Matt Jones one more touchdown run here. Um, then with that, half back counter. Counters are actually very effective in that game. If you have not ran counters, uh, you need to try because they, they can work. As you see, you can find a whole really easy seven yard rush. Let's keep it going. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find the. Wow, I only have three rushes Matt Jones already? Only three in the first quarter? Okay, let's hit him with a. Uh, and they drop no. I'm, I'm not too confident about this play call, but second to go, I'll have a couple more opportunities. And Matt Jones, oh, he does not get it in. But okay, we'll just let the clock run out. Just let the clock run out, and um, we'll, be, we'll hit him with two straight quarterback dives, quarterback dives, quarterback sneaks. If we can't make it on the first one, because more than likely we'll get it. You know what? Trey Burton are starting to pull back. Let's hit him with the goal line. Pull back dive to the middle. As you see, going into the second quarter, we have a 14 nothing lead over LSU. Couldn't have imagined this game starting any better than it has already. So, let's hit them with out of the eye, for, the eye formation. Out of the, this might, might be the, actually the only eye formation I have in this whole entire game, aside from the goal line. So here they go, pins in their D-line. I love this formation. Can we get a touchdown out of it? Oh, then he gets in there. Trey Burton with the one-yard touchdown run. That's what I'm talking about, guys. 21 nothing lead over number 12, LSU. Great game so far, and our defense hold them, hold them once again. So I like that eye formation. A uh, hold. Let's see if we can hit it with a. Uh, let's go with a QB ISO here. It has. I mean, uh, wow, a halfback ISO. I ran only powers in my previous games out of this formation, and it's gone for nothing because the D line just crashes through. So let's try hitting up the middle a little bit. See how it works. Cut back. Oh, uh, a, a nice little four yard game, but we won't run hurry up out of that. Have uh, too big a personnel, too too many big guys in the field, too many li extra linemen. Go out of this slot offset here. Look for a read option. I'm not sure if we have a read option out of this, out of this formation. No, I'm liking this uh, wide receiver option here. But, but I'll, when these routes, we have the little uh, cutting route by the, the guy in the backfield. I always love throwing him, throwing it to uh, him. So I can read slant routes really well. And this is gonna be a perfect route to Trey Burton over the middle. Great play, great play. Keep this, keep the ball rolling. Be looking for a draw for Matt Jones. Hey, if our offense is working, no reason to slow down because LSU can score points quite quickly. So we don't wanna, we wanna get some points while we can while our offense is clicking on all cylinders. Matt Jones at the middle. Nice block by Burton. Matt Jones, rumbling, tumbling. Can he stay in his feet? Nope. 17-yard rush. 
that Matt Jones is having a heck of a game against that LSU Vaughn rush defense. Six rushes for 53 yards. Um, good hat back off tackle here. Our offensive line is getting some really good blocks this game. Matt Jones is playing. Look at that hole. Wow. The guard did not hold on to his block. If he, Matt Jones had, where did that guy come from? There's no way he could have got off his block that quick. So let's go with that fullback belly here and hit it off the Driscoll. I'm really liking this formation. I didn't really discover it till last game and use it a lot, but it's really nice. Trey Burton up the middle for the first down. Let's, let's keep the ball rolling, guys. Just Driscoll's not running the ball that much this game, but hey, don't have to do what you don't have to do. Um, let's let's hit him with a. Uh, as I say that, let's try this halfback draw this formation. Everything else is working at this formation up the middle. Quarterback draws generally don't work in these games, but out of this formation, who knows? And it does. It works. I take that. I'll take that two-yard rush any time. I mean, wow, eight-yard gain any day of the week. Let's keep it going. That's probably the most successful quarterback draw play I've ever had in NCAA football. Right there. I'm hitting with the fullback belly with Trey Burton. Kill him up. It's like the, the we're controlling the middle of the D line. They are not getting anybody through. We're just controlling it completely. They they and they're still not bringing extra linebackers and putting extra guys in the block in the box to uh that to uh, help and run support. So why not just hit them where they're weak at? Hit them at their weakness. And here they got a couple extra guys in the box here, but as you see, they just get blocked right through. Whoa. He just got popped. The guy just demolished my offensive tackle. See, that was Burton who missed the block. He got flattened on on the ground. Okay, so let's uh let's go with empty set here. Let's go let's go with this play action vertical route. Maybe somebody can get the inside inside move on him and get an easy touchdown here. I'm looking for either Thompson or Robinson and second read or third read will be Taylor over the middle. I've never seen Kelvin Taylor line up in the slot before. Um, nobody's open. Throw away. There we go. Wow. He barely got that one out of bounds. Nobody was open there. That's uh, that's the risk you take when you throw. When you have a bunch of uh, streak routes in the same play. Let's hit him with. Uh, let's go with this empty quads here. Four guys on one side of the formation. Look for I like this inside crossing crosses route. Right? Kind of looks like a uh, four verticals, but it's not a four verticals. Because there's like 17,000 guys up there looking for Pittman. Pittman's gonna be open. Safety's creeped in, and he's open. That's gonna be a touchdown. Touchdown, Latroy Pittman. Florida takes a 28 to nothing lead over LSU. Wow, I am playing magnificent. I need to stay up this late every night of my life. Guys, we are when our defense is playing great, our offense is, play, is playing great. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. We got a minute 38 seconds left. Let's let's, let's keep on um pulling the league because LSU won't be playing this bad the whole entire game. Eventually, they're going to catch a break and score some points. Let's go out. Let's go out of the pistol. We're going to run the same exact play action that we ran before with that big, big play. We got the ball to 50 once again. I'm making sure I'm recording because this is this is great. Uh, it, oh, oh gosh, this is the pick. Okay, good thing he overthrew him. I thought he had a little bit, he had a better, uh, I thought he was running full speed and the safety was kind of back there. So I thought he was going to get a bigger, bigger lead there. But let's go with this full house formation. I, I don't think I've, I've yet to run this this game, this, uh, this year. Or this full house formation, which is very, very, a very good formation. It has a bunch of great plays out of it. As you see, a uh, bunch of good running backs there. Hit him up the middle. Nice, nice game there. Matt Jones breaks a tackle and keep it on going. Let's go get up. That's, that's, that's a great play there. Nice run by Matt Jones. He's having a heck of a game and he still can't get off of all the players there. Um, hit him with this deep curl route here. We got to hurry up. At least get a field goal out of this. Take up by 30 points. He looks like this is a cover two, I believe. Yep, cover two. Wow! What just happened there? I had the right read. I knew it was going to be open. Wow! 35 seconds left. Do we want to? Do we want to hit him for a deep pass here? 
Uh, let's try one time, and if we don't get anything deep, we'll just run the clock out. And take a 28 point lead in half. We don't want to give them extra any extra points to give them any type of motivation going into the second half. This is this is big. B Dunbar, nice play. That's what I was looking for. Looking for the inside leverage on the receiver. Um, the cornerback was playing deep. Dunbar had a nice little break there. Nice, nicely ran route. Um. Oh, there's not many passing routes in this formation. Um, wasting time. Oh gosh, I'll just hit him with a quick slant and I'll call a timeout after this. Oh man, too much time, too much time, way too much time. Driscoll, you don't have to, you don't have to do this. They hear the play. Come on. Uh, nice, nice, uh, nice nothing. This is the second time Driscoll's a little off here. I'm not sure if it's the, the wide receiver's tripping or or not having balance or what. But that's two plays we could have got a first down on and. Driscoll either overthrew him or I don't know what happened, but stay in the slot here with the air raid under here. I want to apologize if I'm kind of slurring my words a little bit because I'm, like I said, I'm extremely tired. But I'm playing very well, so I hope that makes up for it. Uh, no, but oh, that's a pick. Wow, that was not a pick. Well, I don't know what the defender was doing there, but I mean, I'll take that. <laughs> okay, let's go. We got to get back the shotgun. Look for that bunch squad or in uh, let's go with bunch. Don't know why, but let's, I have a feeling. Let's go with this drag on the route. Somebody's liable to be open here. He has 20, 20 passes. And it's it's working for him. Looking for Pittman or Dunbar can get off that press really well, which he's been doing all game. And he does. That's gonna be a first down and maybe more. No, he's popped by the by the safety. Let's um let's hurry up. Maybe we can get one more play in and have to kick a field goal. But let's just hit him deep here. Let's uh, audible the four verticals because we that's oh wow that's not four vertical. What is that? Oh gosh, this is double slow go. I don't like this route at all. I don't know why it's my oh Dunbar make a pit user catch touchdown. Yes, yes, yes. I saw he had just a little bit of separation there and just threw it up and Dunbar comes down with the catch. Oh my gosh, guys. I would never, ever would have expected to be taking a 35 nothing lead onto LSU going to the second half. This is amazing. And LSU still doesn't score. And remember, guys, this is on Heisman. If you don't believe me, I'll keep this take going on after the game. Hopefully, I, I keep on to the victory, keep on winning. And I will show you that this game is still on Heisman, because I'm sure I'll have some people not believing that this, this difficulty is on Heisman. And I will be glad to show you. And proud of myself for playing this good for my dynasty series, and I hope this will give me some uh, head coach recognition for calling such a great game. Matt Jones stuff a little there, so maybe LSU made some halftime adjustments to stop the run. Because Matt Jones has had a heck of a game, averaging 6.5 yards per rush. No need to hurry up when we're up by this much. Go with twin tight end set, maybe an extra extra blocker on the uh, right side here can give us a nice play. But like I said, I'm not sure. The ends, the ends and outside linebackers have been playing very well, but the middle linebacker and the, the middle of their defensive line has been uh, exposed this game. Their offensive line has been taking control. See, outside linebacker, very fast, but we got a juke move on, juke move on them. And nice 18-yard rush by Matt Jones. See, they had another play perfectly ran uh, defensively, and we just Matt, Matt, Matt Jones made a really, really nice move there. And I don't know why I just called a hurry up or attack the middle of their defensive line because they're outside. We we got lucky there that uh, Matt Jones made a really nice move, attack the middle, nice blocking, just driving them downfield. Matt Jones, eight yard rush. Just keep the ball on, on the ground, Matt Jones. I want to go back to that two uh, formation set with uh, that's out of the shotgun with Driscoll, Burton, and Jones. Split slot. Let's go with the read option. I've not ran the read option this game. Maybe that's why I'm having so so much success. But I, I don't really expect this to be too too successful because their linebackers are very fast, especially their outside linebackers. But they contained in nice block. That's gonna be a first. Not a big game, but that gets the first down nonetheless. Full rushes for three yards. Wow. Okay, um, my friend just got online and he has football camp in the morning at his college. He's actually playing college football, Division Two. So congratulations to him. From the that was him that just got on. By the way, he's a sick quarterback. Almost got offered by Syracuse. 
Kelvin Taylor getting to see some action from him, more of a speedy back, and he gets the first down. And he's a freshman, I believe. I, I can never, I can never get his his year or his name correct. I apologize. Uh, let's go with the fullback belly here. Keep, keep it on the ground, Trey Burton. Why is Matt Jones out of the game? Never mind, he's back in the game. Let's run it back up the middle and expose that D-line. Oh, whoa! I spoke too soon. That D-tackle got through. Ego Ferguson. As I said that, he just made my line look silly. Look silly. Okay, um... I want to run a play action out of this full house formation. Okay, uh... Let's look for a wheel route from tight end, and if he's not open, more than likely we're going to be hitting, who is that, Taylor out of the back door on the curl. I really don't like throwing these out routes, but Burton might be open, and he is, inside, there we go baby, first down, Trey Burton, no, no, I accidentally pressed Y, that's me, hurry up, I did not mean to do that, apologize, I apologize, wow, my fault, let's run a little, uh, let's run this triple option, I don't think I've run a triple option this year, I could be wrong but let's see I mean just that's 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 sick look at all those plays in the backfield as we're trying to waste some time you got two great receivers and Andre DeBose and uh, Dunbar on the outside you got Burton Taylor and Jones and Driscoll in the backfield that's that's sick you know wow why was it showing Trey Burton as LB and I, I thrown it there with Matt Jones? My, as, I, as I started to make the point of that middle of the defensive line, ever since I said that the last time, they've been playing very well. So let's, um, but we really haven't ran much up the middle, just directly up the middle. Let's run away, well, we're not running away from number nine, that Eagle Ferguson, he's been playing well the last couple of plays. Let's run away from him with Matt Jones. Yep, and he, he got through the block, but we ran away from him, so we didn't get a lock, and we got a one-yard gain, but I'll take it. Okay, so, uh, let's go back to shotgun. Let's go with, um, trips. I don't want to run a sluggo or anything. Ah, uh, let's not run trips. No need for a hurry up here. Let's go. Two wide receivers on each side. I'm running back on the weak side with the play action here. Let's see what they're running. Um, looks like they're running man or a cover three type ordeal here. Why over the middle? Oh, I threw that a little bit too late. Well, we'll, we'll more than likely get the field goal. Um, yep, we got the field goal, and LSU goes down the field and scores their first touchdown of the game, and they did an onside kick, it looks like, and we got the ball back. So let's get the ball on the ground, let's just go with a little read option here. Uh, let's see if we can score over 40 points against LSU. And LSU had one of the best offenses in the country coming into this game, and a pretty good defense as well. You bid in, safety Oh, we have our second string in there? This is ridiculous. At the start of the fourth quarter against number 12 LSU, our rival in Death Valley, we have our second string personnel in the game. This is amazing. But I do want to see Tyler Murphy a little bit. He's not going to be able to play. I had a, somebody say to put him at wide receiver, and I, I could do that. I'm thinking about that. I'm not sure his catching stats and anything, but uh, we can look at that. He's fast. He's got an arm, but... We're going to see how he could play at wide receiver because he, he's definitely elusive. Crashed in again. Wow, that's a great, great blocking play by my team overall. And man, Murphy, Murphy's good. He's, he got a little uh, little agility to him. Clipping. I hate it because they call clipping as I'm getting tackled. And that's just... Yeah, little old Solomon Patton really was, was clipping. Okay. Okay, I'm not even going to say anything about that. Uh, no, 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 not empty, not empty. Let's go. Let's see who's in there. It'll probably be my second string. I want to see a little bit of them. Uh, hopefully, this is going to be running off the, with... No. Matt Brown, he's been there for a couple of years. Or Matt... Matt or Matt? I don't know. Nice little run there. He got through the hole really quick. Matt Brown, that's that's right. He was actually a big time recruit a couple years ago, but he hasn't really came down. I think he's either a sophomore or a junior. Okay, uh, let's keep this going. Let's let's see how our other fullback does. Who is it? Um, 
Joyer. Is it Lamar? No, Lamarcus Joyer was the guy from Florida State. Okay, let's run up the middle with Joyer. See, oh, their D line just Hunter Joyer just demolishes that Ego Ferguson guy is one heck of a player. If he can get through that backfield, he's gonna be the one making the tackle. That's for sure. Let's see if we can sling the ball around with um with Murphy here. I, I think he has yeah he has one throw in the year for. Yeah, he's the one that had the 900 QB rating after one of the games. Let's see, either we destroy Pittman or Robinson. Uh, Andratus has a option here, so maybe one of these receivers can get off a of press. And they both do. Can the receiver jump and make a catch? And he does! Demarcus Robinson with the user catch. One for one. <laughs> Kyle Murphy, that's... I don't want to see this guy's QB rating after this game. That's insane. I did not expect that to be a touchdown, but okay. Tyler Murphy passed the D. Robinson for 33 yards for a touchdown. See if our defense can hang in tough. Elsie goes down and scores another touchdown. Okay. So we held him scoreless to the fourth quarter, so uh, we, we played good. So if we can score another touchdown here, I'm not saying I'm not really going to throw the ball here, but that can be me and we're scoring 50 points on LSU, which probably we were predicting them scoring in the 20s. But you know what, my genius play calling, which is going to get me some head coaching offers after the season as, as they uh, watch the tape from this game. Just so impressed by the play calling of the offensive coordinator. It's going to get me an offer somewhere, so that's that's my ideal situation there. I hope I at least get a decent head coaching offer, but I'll be happy with any. But that, I'm not, for sure I'll get one because, I mean, offensive coordinators don't always get them. After, especially after the first year, but I mean, I'm optimistic if we have a good season. I'll, I'll get a call somewhere. I'll get a call somewhere to be the head coach. Rather it be a, a uh, Massachusetts or anything, I'll, I'll be glad to go. Glad to go to Massachusetts. Hit him with the halfback ISO here. I mean, I'm trying not to run up the score, but heck. Scoring 50 points on Florida, I mean on LSU, that, that'll be... Why the accomplishment? Flag, come on. This kills me. This really does kill me. How in a two in a two millisecond span of time can you clip? And I, what even got me more is the last game that would have been called holding. You can't hold in three and like that wasn't even a whole second. Very very annoying. But okay, it's whatever. Where's the the clock stop? So. We're gonna score. We're gonna score just because that clock stopped. We're rivals, so we're we don't care what they think about us. They don't care. It's third and fourteen. They have timeout, so we're just going to this play because just with the mindset that they're gonna try to come back. They they can very very easily come back if we don't score here. So that's our that's our mindset. We're not running the the, the uh, score up at all. I don't know what you guys are talking about. We're not trying to run the school. We're trying to just keep the lead. Florida, looking to put this game away. <laughs> okay, I'm being really sarcastic. Hit X over the middle. Pittman, oh! And Pittman is hurt. Pittman is hurt. We have to use a timeout. Pittman is hurt. We had to use a timeout. That's terrible. That, I feel so sorry for Pittman. Hopefully, he's not out for a long amount of time. Oh, he's back in the game. He must have. That must have been a quick injury. Too bad we had to use a timeout there. And Ke Kelvin Taylor up the middle. Oh, oh, Kelvin Taylor's hurt too. Kelvin Taylor is down. Kelvin Taylor is down. Our our freshman running back is injured. He is injured, and it does not look good. Oh, he's in here this play. I have to waste another timeout. Touchdown, Florida. I'm telling you, I did not try to run up the score there. My players, I thought they were hurt. I had to call timeouts. I really hope you guys forgive me for that. I just really wanted to score 50 points because I hope you understand I'm trying to get a good head coaching offer. More points per game we score, the better my resume looks, especially against a defense like LSU. And why is this the play of the game? This is in the fourth quarter, my third, my second string, well, pretty much my third string quarterback behind Trey Burke, and he gets the play of the game. So, all in all, this was 
expecting this to come down to a heck of a game. We played lights out. Just came into Death Valley and made them look like a high school team. We played amazing. Jeff Driscoll, the player of the game, 16 to 23, 282 yards, three touchdowns. We pretty much moved the ball out wheel. Rather be on the ground through the air. Most of the time, we attacked the ball, attacked the uh, defensive line of LSU at the middle. Did that guy at number nine did get through the middle sometimes, but he was out of the, all the defensive players I saw. The line, the outside linebackers for LSU impressed me, and that guy in the middle, number nine, I think his name was Ego Ferguson. He really impressed me too. So there we go. I have one upgrade available. Let's show you the game stats really quick. And I'm still in shock how much I beat them by. And I'll still, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll uh, show you the difficulty after this game. Uh, Death Driscoll, 16 to 23, 282 yards, three touchdowns, 69 completion percentage. I did not get sacked in the game, so that's a good thing. Did turn the ball over either, so I mean, that's good too. Tyler Murphy continues to be on this torrid pace of a QB rating, and that game he was 491. So I think his QB rating went from like dropped from 900 to what's that? Um, about seven, around 700 or so. Uh, but I actually didn't throw the ball that game with Trey Burton, but we didn't have to. And if, as you see, we don't try to, we don't specifically try to hand Trey Burton the ball. And look how many points we do put up. So maybe that's something I look at looking forward. Not giving Trey Burton a specific amount of carries or touches just to do so because he's a good player. I mean, if he's a good player, he'll make plays on his own. Without me having to say, hey, I'm giving this ball to Trey Burton just because I want to. As you see, he only had six carries for 16 yards, but he didn't have any plays out of quarterback, so that's probably put his uh, average down a little bit because a chunk of his yards on the ground has came, have came at him um, as him playing quarterback. I just totally screwed up that uh, sentence grammatically. Sorry, but most of his yards have came as him at quarterback and running the uh, option and everything. But Matt Jones had a touchdown run. Tyler Murphy had a touchdown run at the end there. And Trey Burton had a touchdown run on that fullback dive out of the Hulk formation earlier. Kelvin Taylor had a couple touches. Jeff Driscoll didn't have to run the ball a lot, but he had four attempts for three yards. Um, we saw a little bit out of Hunter Joyer in this in the fourth quarter with uh, our second unit in. He only had a couple carries, didn't get much because that's that play. I remember that the D line just completely obliterated my offensive line. And Matt Brown, the ju he's a junior, he uh, had one carry for eight yards. And uh, and Matt Jones. He could have very easily broke 100 yards, but, I mean, we, we just spread the ball around a lot, threw the ball a little bit more this game because it was working. Receiving, Demarcus Robinson continues on his toward pace, six receptions, 114 yards, and a touchdown. Quentin Dunbar expected to play very well, five receptions, 122 yards. Great game from him, also added in a touchdown. Trey Burton got a couple balls this game out of the backfield, two receptions for 28 yards. Latroy Pittman, the sophomore, two receptions for 12 yards. Andre DeVos didn't have a catch this game? Wow. Um, Colin Thompson, the freshman tight end, one catch for 12 yards. Solomon Patton, one for 16. He had the first touchdown of the game, I believe. And Matt Jones had one for negative two. It was for that one. That was the first, I think, first play of the game. Defensively, let's see. Oh, Antonio Morrison only had three tackles that game. He might not be leading the country anymore. Luchez Purifoy had two interceptions that game. Wow. Um, our defense is playing very well, obviously. Do we have any sacks? Uh, two QB sacks, one by Ronald Powell and one by Damian Jacobs. Uh, four tackles for loss. Leon Orr had one alongside the uh, the um the sacks. Um, Austin Harden, the freshman kicker, had one kick. Let's go look at LSU stats really quick. Um. Zach Medenberger, 17 and 28, 238 on the ground. I mean, 238 through the air. No touchdowns, two picks. And they, apparently, they were down by so much they brought in their second unit. Steven, Steven Rivers, uh, that's actually Philip Rivers' brother, and he's a ginormous, 6'8, 225. He'll actually probably be the starter next year after Zach Medenberger leaves. And look at him, 4 for 4, 39 yards, one touchdown, but that was probably against our second string as well. He, I mean, what's up with all these second stringers playing very well? From rushing, obviously they didn't play very well, and our, our rush defense continues to be one of the best in the country. Um, too bad I don't get to see any of that. But we get to see my defense play whenever I get to be the head coach somewhere. But Jeremy Hill, nine, of, nine rushes, 26 yards. Alfred Ballou, wow, I said Ballou. Alfred Ballou, 
three for 20, and Zach Mannenberger had one rush receiving. Uh, Quintavious Leslie led the team with four receptions. Well, three guys had four receptions. Jarvis Landry, probably their best receiver, had 77 yards in the air, and you can just see the rest. I want to show you the tackles really quick. Um, Craig Lawson, that's not good. I'll say it. I'll say it before. Say it again. Not good when a strong safety or any safety or anybody in the secondary leaves your team and leaves your team in ta tackles. That's not a good thing. And there's the rest. So let's back out of this. This is gonna take this game a long a video, a long time to render, and that's uh, not good for me because let's, here's the rest of the stats. Um, because I'm on a schedule here and I'm trying to hurry up and I got a bunch of videos to make. So hopefully it's not take too long to render so I can make the rest of my videos for you guys. Let's back out of this game and let's see who we take on next week. Cause I honestly can't remember. And then I just got a text message, and then we take on, and I'll show you. And make sure you believe that this this difficulty is still in Heisman. That would be something if I accidentally checked and I got bumped down to freshman or something. But it, I'm, I'm for sure it hasn't. Uh, the games around the country: Colorado um, takes down number 24 Arizona State, 35-32. That's a shocker there. And uh, nothing else too surprising there. Game stats. Um, you see those. Play of the game. Jeff Driscoll. Luches Purifoy had two picks. And injury report. Nobody injured for the Florida Gators. So that's something that we've been. We have been uh, quite fortunate that we have nobody too um, too big for our team. Too important. Gone down. I don't believe anybody's got injured this season. I, I could be totally wrong. But. Okay. Let's go use our coaching. Uh, skill tree thing and bump up the point really quick uh, max out the ball security we do not want to fumble the ball so we can move on to these next save changes and I'll show you we play next well, I'll go ahead and show you that. make sure this is on Heisman just to and I have not I'm not making any cuts in the video this is all straight live commentary so don't pull any of those fast ones on me where do I go to Dynasty Setup, Dynasty House Rules? Uh, yep, straight to Heisman. There we go. Even have user versus user skill in Heisman, even though I don't play anybody else. I still did it just to make everything on Heisman. Everything normal. All the sliders, just completely normal. Like everything. Okay. So, to show you who I take on. Whoa, no. Okay. Wow. We take on the Missouri Tigers next week. In Missouri, and then we go with the bye week, and I'll, I'll combine the bye week and the Georgia video together and show you the guys that have my recruiting more. I actually do something that I've seen some commentators do. I'll, uh, I'll at the halftime of this video, I will show you the recruiting or something. I'll, I'll figure something out. So, uh, until next time, guys, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, looking for 20 likes, and, and let me know what you think about this game in the comment section below. Let me know why you think. I played so well, and let me know just what you think about the gameplay uh, as a whole. So, catch you guys later, and as always, roll time, go Sox, and go Titans, Steve. I'll see you later, guys.